another fairy garden. Come on, guys. Look and see what we've done. We got a little fresh mulch here. We have a little wood round. That's from last year. And these are some new flowers and plants for this area. Thought it turned out pretty nice. Now let's see if we can get a fairy in here. Well, I'm going to show you two different fairy gardens I'm going to put together today. You tell me which one you like the best. This one here is a mushroom house. I already had the house, so there was no expense for that. I'm going to show you one of my little fairies, and she's petting these cute little kittens down here at the bottom. I already had this fairy for probably six years, and believe it or not, she does stay outside quite a bit, but because she's one of my favorites, she does stay in the house quite a bit too. And here's two little kittens she's petting. Almost looks like she's getting one in the eye. Maybe I should move the kitty around a little bit. Maybe that's a little too much love. Oh, that's so much better. We don't want to poke the poor kitty's eye out, do we? So I think she looks pretty good for being six years old, don't you think? And the wood that everything is setting on, it's been out here a year or two. Uh, believe it or not, this was some wood that was cut for my grandson's wedding, and I told him when he was done with it to let Grandma have it, and he did. You know, gra my grandkids spoil me rotten. And I've had this uh, chair and table. I originally, when I bought it, it was black, and I spray painted it, I don't know, a year or two years ago, at least a year ago. It might even be two years ago and it's purple. I really am not that much of a fan of black. So that's why I was really happy to spray it purple. I do like purple. So let me know what you think about this first fairy garden. Now, the table and chair, like I said, I've had it for, I don't know, three, four years, maybe longer. Still looks like in great shape considering it's outside year round. Uh, the kittens were a gift from one of my uh, followers, Maria. And there was no cause for that either. The fairy, I've had about six, seven years maybe. Uh, so she's already been paid for in the past and written off because she's done lots of photo ops on my channel. And of course the table and chair is the same thing. Uh, it's something I've had for a long time. The mushroom house, I don't know, I've had maybe a couple of years. It still looks pretty good. It stays out year round also. And I've been real happy with it. Uh, the only thing that I bought new for this was the plants themselves, and they were sort of pricey. And I think I spent about probably $30 uh, for all of them. But keep in mind, I'm going to do several posts, so pretty soon we're going to have free posts coming up because, you know, Grandma's cheap. And she finds so many different ways to use things and repurpose. So... This cost me $30 for the first fairy garden. But keep in mind, we're going to keep using these over and over again for some different ideas and just changing out accessories and there will be a lot of zero cost coming your way. But I thought it turned out pretty good. Give me a thumbs up if you would. I really would appreciate it. We love you so and I hope you enjoy this video. Oh, I should have mentioned also. Now there is a lot of color here because I did get a lot of flowers that have a lot of color to them. But even at that, I threw in some silk flowers. There are things I've had, just had laying around. So I put some there and I put some over here to give a little more color and a little more here. And so we have, let's see where it is. There it is, a little silk flower there. And the rest are all real. But you know, you can mix both. And a lot of times when I'm doing photo shoots, I'll add a few little silk flowers in just to give a little more color and a variety. Now let's see what else Grandma's got. Now here's my second fairy house and my second fairy garden. Now I'm using the same exact plane. Well this is my second fairy garden. This is the second one with the same plants. The only thing is different is I changed out the accessories. Well, this particular fairy house I've had for, I don't know, two or three years or longer. It's not new. Um, 
these tables and chairs and my tea service is probably at least two years old. And these cute little kittens, these were a gift from Maria. So I thought this one turned out pretty good too. Let me know what you think. I'm counting this as a zero cost because I already had the plants from a previous post that I did today. So I'm reshooting it. Remember I told you I was going to do multiple fairy gardens and show you different ways you can do it. Now the wood round that you see was uh, my grandson gave it to me two or three years ago or maybe longer. I can't remember when I got it. Uh, but anyway, I've had a long time. This was from his wedding. I had asked when they were done using it for the wedding if I could have them. They said, yeah. I'm spoiled by my grandchildren and I'm always getting stuff to use for my fairy gardens because everybody in my family knows how much I love fairy gardens. But is this not a beautiful display? And really all I changed was the accessories. The plants, I did not do anything different. Everything's exactly where it was the last time you saw it and how much better or different it can look. Let me know if you like the first fairy garden or the second fairy garden. They're a little different. And when I told you I have lots and lots of fairy accessories, I wasn't exaggerating. And you're going to be seeing this table set up in these chairs a lot in the future. Um, these pieces were actually bought at least two or maybe even three years ago. I can't remember. They're, now they stay in the house. They don't come out except for photo ops because I don't want them to get wrecked or broke and I can never replace them if something happens to them. These are called, these pieces came from the Mad Hatter collection and they no longer make them and so these are my pride and joy and I did use them for the Mad Hatter uh, tea party I did last year and you will see these same pieces in the new one coming up. But I thought it looked super cute and those kittens match size so perfectly to the, uh, the Cheshire cat, don't you think? And I just loved how pretty everything looked. So you're going to see these pieces, uh, maybe not a lot, probably three or four times a year. And I thought I would just throw them out there because Grandma loves them a lot and she wanted to share them with you. And I thought they went perfectly with the house. What do you think? Give me your opinion in the comment section. Well, I guess I'm done talking. I just wanted to share two little fairy gardens with you. Now, I used to be a fairy channel, and I do get a lot of comments why I stopped doing fairy gardens. Well, this is why I stopped, because I had five years of doing fairy gardens. I had 250 followers, and I didn't pick them all up from fairy gardens. I picked up half of them probably from my flower garden and my food garden. So, you can see they did not do well. So, if you want to see more fairy gardens, you guys need to start coming over and watching them when I put up new fairy gardens. I put one up last week. It did all right, but it didn't get 100 views. Um, usually within one day, any of my posts will usually get 100 views, if not more. That's why I don't do fairy gardens very often. But I'm giving everyone another chance because I get a lot of comments, why did I stop doing fairy gardens? That's why. I didn't have enough people that were watching them and leaving me comments about them. So I'm going to start again. I told you every week I'm going to put a fairy garden up on my channel. So if you want to see more fairy gardens, you guys got to start commenting. You guys got to start showing some interest in them. I can do a fairy garden a week because I have lots and lots of fairy gardens to share with you. So don't ever worry about that. Sorry about the alarm in the background. Don't know who's setting it off. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, now they turn it off. Well, I'm going to see you later. Hugs and kisses if you made it to the very end. Um, like I said, I can put up as many fairy gardens as you guys want to see. Just start giving me some watch time and some comments. Showing me that you love it and I can do one or more a week. This week you got two of them. You got a twofer. One video. And I may start doing that because what cost me the money to do fairy gardens really is the plants and I'm going to try to redo a lot like this show you different ways you can do fairy garden accessories with the exact same plant same area same everything 
because that's what cost me the money is is all the plants so uh, as you saw I had all these accessories already I just had to spend some money for some new plants and I'm gonna move these plants around some more and uh, make some more fairy gardens where you'll have some more to look at next week so I hope you guys enjoy this post I hope you give me a lot of comments and start telling everyone hey you want to see some fairy gardens go over to grandma Sandy's channel and she has tons and tons of fairy gardens I have at least 300 fairy gardens on my channel let's see if I can start getting some interest in them hugs and kisses and don't forget more fairy gardens to come <laughs>